I never know how to introduce myself to, to these things. Hey, I'm Tom Cowles. Here's a tutorial. Yeah, nailed it. If you're like me and you're not much of an animator, motion capture is the easiest way to get high production value and really good, fun results. Sites like Turbo Squid, Mixamo, Sketchfab, they have some great results with motion capture data, but sometimes you want to mix them between the two. It's really simple and easy to do. So here's how we're gonna do this. And we're also here because this person asked. Uh, I'm trying to get a bit more active on my channel, so if there's something that you wanna see, let me know down below. First up, you need some mocap data. So this can come from Turbo Squid. I think Ske Sketchfab might do this. Mixamo is one that I used for mine as well. So first up, download your mocap data and whatever model you have. This isn't gonna be a rigging tutorial, so I'm sorry if you were expecting me to make the bones and stuff. I'll link down below to something that is really helpful for learning how to rig, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna cover that. Once you have your different mocap data, then you import it into Blender, nice and easy. This could be done through the FBX or BVF files. It doesn't really matter. You just import the armature. Once you have all your different motion data together, it's just the case of trying to make sure that it fits the right size. You want them all to be a similar scale. Once they're all aligned, you need your one key model to be the reference. If you were on Mixamo and you used the same model, this is fine. Like you just make sure they're all scaled up to the same size. Great, cool, jobs are good. Then there's a case of setting up two windows. One is your action editor, and the other is the non-linear animation. With these two, it'll be really easy to kind of see what you're doing and what's affecting what, and more importantly, how the animations are gonna play out on your timeline. So with those two windows open, go to your model and select its rig. You wanna make sure that you've got that down, because that's where all the animation data is. In the action editor, you can flick through to all the different mocap data that you have. So you can import each one of them and give it a rename so you know what's gonna be happening on your timeline. It makes it a lot easier than just giving it the standard name that it already has. So now that you've got all your actions imported, you can delete the previous models. They're done, you don't really need them anymore because they're all saved within your selected model. So now we're using the non-linear animation window. To lock these down into the timeline, you need to push them down. There's an icon by the side of the name that will allow you to do this. It'll import as if it's like footage on a regular editor timeline, which is really handy. That's just the whole bulk of the animation. So the top layer is the animation that the model is going to be following first. You can change the structure by using page up and page down. That's probably the simplest way that you can easily switch between them all. You can amend the structure. Oh, oh no. But See how long this goes. So yeah, that way you know what order it's gonna be kind of flowing into. Then you can just sort out your timeline so it goes from one animation to the other. It, they can be quite sudden, so it's nice to have that little bit of an overlap that you can then like smooth in from one animation to the other. So if you then go into the strip editor, you can change the blending mode to combine. Then you could add a fade over however many frames that you have. And then after some tweaking, you, you've got several animations in a row, which yeah, really smooth, looks great. I haven't been able to find a way just yet that goes from one animation to another that has a different transform settings. That's probably next on my list. Just in case you're wondering as well, the camera data that I used at the start is from CamTrack AR. It's a really cool app that allows you to film on your iPhone and then import the 3D camera data from whatever movement that you've captured. Really handy, simple to use. Then when you combine it with that animated mocap, you have a really organic looking scene. Motion capture is really fun. I've kind of fell in love with it at university and now try to use it in everything that I do. I'm so lazy when it comes to animating that mocap just takes it all out for you. So yeah, check it out, have a play. And I really hope this was helpful. So, you know, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I'm Tom, I make stuff sometimes tutorials, and it's a pleasure having you with us. If you've liked this, then you know, the YouTube algorithm gods require me to ask for a like, subscribe, and uh, any requests for future videos, always welcome. So yeah, till next time, cool.